Today, our champion, Tom Osta of Durbridge, Massachusetts, faces the challenge of Todd Schaefer of Adams, Massachusetts, on Camelton Bowling. Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to Candlepin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and hey, how about it? We're down to one last chance now for either of these two bowlers to move into next week's championship show, which, again, I remind you, is going to be at 6.30 p.m. next Saturday. That's our live show, $20,000 in prize money. But today it will be three strings of candlepin bowling, total pinfall determining our winner. Both bowlers will take home a permanent souvenir from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. We have guaranteed prize money of $1,200. $700 goes to the winner, $350 goes to the runner-up. $50 available to the winner of each string. If they tie, they split that at $25 apiece. An extra $100 for a 400 series. Other opportunities for them to uh, make a little money, I'll tell you about as we go along. There is a $50 gift certificate from uh, Super 7 Tire Dealers. That will go to today's runner-up. And this uh, will go to our March of the day. It's a $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores. The bowler with the most mark. All right, let's talk to today's bowler, shall we? First of all, I have the pleasure of welcoming Todd Schaefer here. And uh, he's a fellow that really didn't want to come on, but he decided how many times he's been trying. <laughs> well, I've only been trying this year, so first, first hey, time. Hey, how about that? Hey, listen, boy, that is an exception, and you well know it, because uh, if you've watched this show, a lot I'm of sure you have, you've seen a lot of guys who have uh, waited for a long time. Well, uh, Wally... Uh, Basilinski, for example, for the longest time. It must have been years before he finally made it. Okay, let's see. You've got a league average of 113, and since it's your first time on and you get on so easily, we thought we'd reward you by sending Tom Olsteg. Yeah, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tommy, of course, uh, is, uh, was not necessarily proud of what he did last week except the fact that he won. I'll take a win however I can get it. A win is a win is a win, right? Uh, I did look it up. You know that that's the lowest score that you ever had in winning. Now, you've had a few losses, but it was... I the... believe it. <laughs> I was lucky. <laughs> However, you had a lot of big ones, and you know, of course, that this is the last chance to get into this one. You seem to feel like maybe you belong in it because you've been in it five times, our big True Value Championship show. I'd like to get back into it again. We all would. <laughs> that's right. I know. And Todd would love to be the guy who would come on and make this, uh, you know, like that uh, young golfer did a few weeks ago, come in on his first golf tournament and went on and won, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good luck to you, and good luck to you, Todd, and we'll get underway right after this. Candlepin Bowling is sponsored in part by True Value Hardware, your store of first choice. All right, leading off, today's challenger, Todd Schaefer from Adams, Massachusetts. Todd, as you know, making his first appearance today. He is single and is a salesman for Berkshire Floor Fashion. Nice, a nice way to start with a spare. Todd's high single is 170, his high triple is 452. In winning that roll off, he had a very fine 667. Seven is the fill, and he's left with the 139. He starts off with a pair of pairs. Now Tom Osta, who won last week with a 349. Enough to defeat Gary Carrington by 10 pins. Tom's league average is 129. Former World Canopin Bowling Congress Pro Bowler of the Year, former NBA State Open Singles and All Events Champion. This is uh, Tom's 48th appearance on this show. For a spare? No! Thought he had it. Tom is married, father of three. Employed now as a salesman for Frito Lay. Three marks in a row. Any combination of strikes or spares on the same string establishes a bonus of $50. And right now, Todd Schaefer 
has an opportunity to do just that. Bonus. The hit was rather thin. He has seven pins, and he'll be working with the three as his object pin, plus the seven and ten. Wood to the left of that three pin. Nice try, but he didn't get it. It's a nine. One, two, seven, eight. With wood in back of the one and two, but it's perpendicular to rather than uh, in a more favorable position. Didn't get the head pin. He's representing the Imperial Lanes in Pittsfield. And that's why last week, John Riley and I mentioned he was from Pittsfield, but he actually is from Adams. Tom Ulster. Two and five to pick up for a spare. He has it. Strike on spare. Okay, we come to the first point in our show where we actually stop and take a look at the scoreboard as both bowlers are doing. That's after four boxes in the first string and four boxes in the second string. And here with two marks in a row and right now with two bonus balls yet to be thrown by Tom Osta, the score is Todd Schaefer, six, 53, excuse me, Tom Osta, 50. Challenger Todd Schaefer about to roll in the fifth box of the opening string. Half Worcester left. Punching out two and eight. One more out of there. It's a seven box. missing the head pin and as a result he still has six pins up the object pin is the head pin with the two four of them down but the six and ten are still there our high low jackpot is now up to seven hundred and seventy five dollars Tom Osta has two marks in a row. He's working on a strike right now. As you know, three marks in a row. Any combination of strikes or spares in the same string will establish a bonus of $50. However, if you put three strikes in a row together, there is an additional bonus of $1,000. Look good coming in on the one three pocket for a possible second strike. Six pins down, working on the four on the left. No! He settles for a seven, and there will be no bonus money here. An eight. There's a hammer. Now Todd Schaefer. He was hoping that that six pin would go down, but it did not, even though it would roll back against it. 
So he's left with two, four, seven on the left and the six on the right. Nice shot. He took out the two, four, seven beautifully, but did not get anything to fly over and pick up the six. Ten. He's at 80 through seven. Diamond left plus the seven. Two, four, five, seven, and eight. Nice shot. Made it. Now Tom Osa comes up. We're working on a strike. Two bonus balls. Too full on the head pin and almost a spread eagle. All right, got nine. Nine is the fill and now he has the single pin to pick up for a 10 box. Ninety-four. Ninety-four to eighty after seven. So close to another hammer. Everything down but the four pin. He's right on it. All right, now we're up for the final two boxes in the first string, and our challenger, Todd Schaefer, comes up working on a spare that he threw in the eighth box. The bonus. Big hit. He got himself a nine drop. He's got the six pin to pick up, and he's got a couple of pieces of wood that haven't decided yet what they're going to do. Let's hope he can get at it. He did. Two marks. All right, now at 109. It's a strike. Give him $50 in bonus money. at his, uh, beyond his average of 113, and first bonus ball, that gets him seven. Leaving him the two four on the left and the six on the right, he'll go for the two four and hope he can kick that two over and get the other. If he does, it'll be worth another $50. No, he didn't quite make it. All right, it's still an eight. 137, fine opening string. Tom Osta is working on a spare, and he has eight more. The three and the five with wood in between for a spare. Yes, he has it. Tom now at 122. Six is the fill. He's working on the two, four, seven on the left and the 10 on the right. Piece of wood, is, where is it gonna stop? It's still moving. Tom, who is a very fast bowler and likes to keep going fast, does not like to be slowed down by the rolling wood. But those are the rules, and we adhere to them. All right, let's see what he does with this. Two full on the head pin. Nice 
nice shot as he made all three of them. And that gives him another $50 in bonus money by one pin as he leads the match and won the first string by a single pin. Fine opening strings by both of our bowlers today. And after one, it is defending champion Tom Osta leading challenger Todd Schaefer, 138 to 137. In the middle string, our defending champion leads it off. Here is Tom Osta. Spare lead, two and four. Once again, waiting, waiting, waiting for Rolling Wood. Spare for Tom Osta to begin the middle string. All but the 10 pin. begins with a pair of spares, just as this young man began the first string, Todd Schaefer, with a pair of spares. Everything went down except the six. Spare, no, he held it a fraction too long and he knew the second he released it, he turned away, realizing that he was not going to make the spare. So it's a 10. break there as the 10 went down it appeared he was going to have a, a very very difficult almost impossible leave and now he has one pin to pick up the four a couple of pieces of wood to the right and one just about touching it goodbye very nice all right Tom Osa has two marks in a row Thin hit, just four. Object pin becomes the three pin. He's got three, four, five, seven on the left, four, six and 10 over on the right. So there'll be no bonus money for three marks in a row here. A nine. Little triangle over on the right. Not easy. Looks looks real easy. Not always easy. Sometimes you get one. Sometimes you get two. You hope for all three, and he got one. Ten. Todd Schaefer, today's challenger. Nine is the fill. Seven pin alone. That's what he's going for. He's got it. Red Eagle, got just four. That's 
puts the right side down. When you are going well and have a few marks in a row, is the spread that you dread. Okay, another check on the scoreboard, and look at that. They are tied right now in the match after uh, 14 boxes because it was Ulster 138, Schaefer 137 after the first string, and now here after four boxes in the second, it is Schaefer 53 and Ulster 52. Defending champion Tom Ulster rolling now. Fifth box, middle string. We're halfway through the match, and they are tied. Half Worcester right side punching out the three and the nine. Everything but the four. Ten. too full on the head pins. So as a result, he's left with the 2, 4, 10. Ralph Stewart calls time. He's got to go down there and check this out. Piece of wood. And it's uh, about, he indicates an inch or so behind the deadwood line. So it stays. Tommy uses it. And made the spare. Nice shot. That's one time the wood helps. It doesn't always. That time it did. Todd Schaefer, today's challenger. And is he going to get a strike? Nope. Six pin doesn't want to go. For a spare? Yes, he got it. And he shakes his head because that uh, ball did not go directly at the pin as he had hoped. It went off to the left, but fortunately there was some wood there and he was able to make the spare. There's a break. An eight pin drop and he's left with four seven. Two in a row for Todd Schaefer, and he puts more pressure on Tom Osta. Just two as he punched out half Worcester right, three and nine, going for that one three pocket, but didn't get it. It's an eye. Almost a strike. Ten pin. Two marks in a row once again put up on the board by Todd Schaefer. Let's see if he can put three together. He did that in the first string in the eighth, ninth, and tenth for $50 in bonus money. He's had four marks in six boxes so far in the second, but has yet to put three in a row. Just four. Four is the fill. That puts him up by 11. So he will not have bonus money for three marks in a row. It's a seven box. Just held that one a little bit too long. 
Keith Williams keeping score on that big scoreboard and Bruce Goldman keeping score beside me. Here's a spare leave. Ralph Stewart, our lob line judge and referee in his accustomed spot in his summer attire. And the ball came back and made that one. Almost uh, gets himself a fill of six. To convert, he will have to knock down the two, four, five, and seven without wood. He did it. Another mark. Nope, cannot get the nine to go. He's got seven and nine, but he's got wood. And uh, he'll he'll uh, give it a real good shot. And made it. He made it. Another $50 in bonus money for Tom Osta. At 1.27 right now. One thirty six. One thirty six. Todd Schaefer. And today's challenger gets seven as a fill on his spare. He's left with the one three six. No wood. Ooh, it bounced around it, but the six did not go. Nine. They are tied once again. plus the five, eight, and nine. The 10 and a 128 and another $50 in bonus money for Tom Ulster for being the winner of the second string. He won the first by a single pin, this one by eight pins. There you see it, 136 to 128. And so the score at the end of two is Tom Ostar, defending champion 274, his challenger today, Todd Schaefer, 265. Our challenger, Todd Schaefer, leading off the third string. Got a break there. Single pin to pick up will be the 10 pin. He has a bunch of wood off to the left, four of them. He tried to go at it alone and it went in the gutter before he got there. Now he uses the wood and makes it and uh, has a kind of a chagrined look on his face as much as to say, why didn't I do that the first time? You know, Don Riley is our statistician and coordinator. Phil Rubin is our producer, director. 
And I've mentioned our scorekeepers and Ralph Stewart. And our crew today, we've got four R's here today. We've got Ron Schindler and Rich O'Neill and Roger Rice and Richard Erickson. Nine. Tom will be looking today for a 142 right now in this third string. That's what he needs if he is to move into next Saturday evening's True Value Championship show. He needs a 416 to move by Nick Lombardi, so he needs a 142. to tie and a 143 to go by that's right 142 would tie and 143 would be the winning that is would be enough Ooh, we should, does not want to do that Todd Schaefer. One, two, and eight. Ooh, split the one, two, the eight still there. No sidewall action to come back and get it. He's left with two pins, but he doesn't like them because it's the nine and ten side by side. He's got a couple of pieces of wood off to the left, one on a slight angle. He'll be trying to utilize the wood, to try to get nine and ten. Got the kick, but uh, it went in too deep. Nine. a little difficulty with that half Worcester right. That's the third time he's rolled it. It's a seven box. to hammer left the uh, four pin Shaper. Today's challenger. A little too far to the left, but he's getting some pretty good action. He's left with four horsemen right side. Too bad, he missed the head pin.
and nine. Todd's first time on the show, he's had two excellent strings, a 137 and a 128. And uh, his league average is 113. So he has risen to the occasion, struggling a bit here in the third. One, two, seven, and ten. And rolling wood. close to getting that 10 but the piece of wood that was flying went right by it a 10 all right six boxes to go he's working on a spare Tom looking for a 143 I was thinking that uh, Nick Lombardi was at 415 no at 416 so Tom needs a 143 All right, he has seven. He's got the five pin, the seven, and the eight with some wood. Can he do it? Yes. That puts him to 63 plus. Not quite, not quite the strike, but he has, he has a five pin to pick up for another spare. For spare, yes. $50 more in bonus money for Tom Olsta, but he's not thinking about the bonus money as much right now as he is it's about the 143. Todd Schaefer, and he leaves what would ordinarily be, well, what Tom has been punching out, the three and nine, as a spread eagle, uh, excuse me, as a half Worcester right. Wood may help here. It did not. He got the front pin, but not the back one. Ten. Same two pins that he left in the previous box were the two that he punched out here. So easy to take them out when they're surrounded by everybody else. And just one that time. So Todd has a, a bunch of pins on the left-hand side to work on now. And it will be a seven box. All right, Tom Olsen with three marks in a row, hoping for a 143. He's up to 82 right now, plus what he gets on the next one. With four boxes to go. Six. Nope, he's going to be open here. Nine. 97. Three boxes to go for a 143. Obviously has to mark some more. There's one of them, a big strike. At 107 now with two boxes to go and looking for a 143. Now Todd Schaefer, and he punches out the left side. Half Worcester left, punching out the two and eight. <laughs> it's 
an eight. Eighty-two. However, Todd need not uh, be concerned. He had two fine opening strings, even though he is not going to roll his average here in the third. Chance for another mark here. He's got the five and the eight with Wood, which was alongside, now is rolling away. Very nice. He gets a spare here in the 10th, which puts him now at 92, and he has a chance to get over 100. Hey, an even 100. Now, Tom Olsta working on a strike. Two boxes to go, needing a 143. Not quite. Nine more, and a chance for another spare with a seven pin in the corner. He's got it. He's at 127 right now with another box to go, 127 with a box to go. He's got eight more. That did it. That did it, he's at 143 right now, he has done it. And another one for good measure, and another $50 in bonus, bonus money. Tom Osta will be in our True Value Championship. The question is just what is his final going to be? Tom Osa has done it. That is his sixth time that he has made our championship show. He has won it three times in the five previous. He came through when he had to. Tom Osta, a clutch performance as he moves into our championship show. All right, we'll be back with all of that other stuff. I just want to tell you that he finished uh, with a 425 to Todd Schaefer's 365. How about a hand, folks, huh, for a great performance, right? That goes for both bowlers. Obviously, for what Tom did to come from behind to do what he had to do in order to get into our True Value Championship, and also for a fine first-time appearance by Todd Schaefer, who rode a 365. Excellent. All right, here's the way... As you know, it is next week, next Saturday, only it's going to be in prime time this time instead of our what we've had in the past at 12 noon. It is going to be 6.30 to 8 o'clock in prime time on television. It'll be coming from the Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill. And right now, as a result of what Tom Osa did today by rolling his 425, it is Dick O'Connell, the top seed, at 438. Gary Carrington in second place with a 434. Joe Ashline in third place with a 426. Tom Osta in fourth place with a 425. Dan Myrick in fifth place with a 418. And now Nick Lombardi, who was knocked out today, will become the alternate, as uh, the last person always does. Dick O'Connell will get the bye. And then, of course, you know how it works after that. The other four will be working their way up to what will be a final two-string match. It's an hour and a half of primetime television, the True Value Championship show, $20,000 in prize money, $10,000 going to the first place winner. All right, what do we have here? Our total today is $790. We have $100 to give away. If somebody comes anywhere between $800 and $780, I will shake these up a little bit. You know, of course, that uh, when I draw the card, even if it's nowhere near that, to win the $100, the person whose card is chosen will receive several prizes. The prizes that are being given away today are these. A Ames Flower and Garden Tool Set.
This four-piece set includes a flower and garden shovel, cultivator, bow rake, and garden hoe with 42-inch handle. You'll love the smaller, more compact size. And a British Sterling gift set for the man who's not just a friend, the cologne that's not just a fragrance. Give him British Sterling and make him a legend in his own time. And Schaefer Fashion Pens, fine writing instruments that are also fashion accessories. Twist action ballpoint, 23 karat gold, electroplated accents in a range of colors. And just before I draw that card, I want to remind you again, for anybody that doesn't know, these cards are guesses as to what the total pinfall would be, both bowlers combined on the day you hope your card will be chosen. Include your name and address, make sure it's on a postcard, and please send it along to this address. Candleton Bowling, WCVB-TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts, zip code number 02192. All right, for $100, anywhere from 780 to 800, a total of 790 today. Al Fisher, Riverside Avenue, Medford, Massachusetts. His guess is 740. Okay, so we add another $50. Hey, listen, uh, we're getting a high-low jackpot that is getting up there. $775, Tom. All right, Todd. Okay, Todd, if you'll stay here, and Tom will come up behind you. Stay right here, please. Here's your first trophy from us. Uh, you didn't get the winning one, but you had a fine performance, and uh, I congratulate you on rolling a 365. You got a $50 gift certificate from uh, the Super 7 Tire Dealers, and uh, let's see, $350 for being the runner-up, $50 in bonus money, and uh, a tape that you can save, huh? Definitely. <laughs> All right. Good luck to you. I'll see you again. Tommy, you son of a gun, you did it. Just like you did once before on the very last day. Of course, your Ace Trophy Company, big trophy, key value, $50 gift certificate, winning money, $700, $400 in bonus money. But the most important thing is you are going to be with us next Saturday night at 6.30 in the big one, right? Cut it close. Cut it close. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it. That's the important thing. Okay, that's it. Until next Saturday at 6.30 live. John Dennis and all through. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you, John.